I did definitely see them doing a port of Hades. I don't think anything, if I'm gonna be honest, I don't think anything crazy is going to get announced. Um, I think they'll show more Ratchet and Clank footage. I think they'll finally show off the female Lombrax. Uh, I think she'll definitely be the, uh, the main star of the Ratchet and Clank show, if they show Ratchet and Clank gameplay. If I have to choose my Hail Mary, my absolute shoot to the stars guess that might still be possible I'm going to say a PS5 version of Final Fantasy 7 remake I think that's entirely possible you mean part two? No, 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 God, no, no, we're not in part two for like another two years. No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about a, um, a PS5 port for, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. That will like, you know, it'll run at 60 FPS, 4K. Oh, God, no, we're not hearing about part two for multiple years. <laughs> what, what, what are you, crazy? <laughs> they got Final Fantasy 16 they still gotta show more of. Oh, God, I've just realized I'm part of the reaction crowd now. Oh, God. I've become part of the problem! And this time I got an actual camera now! I'm going full reaction! I'm at least super happy that apparently Crash Bandicoot 4 is super good. I've only seen like the first hour or two of it. And I'll be honest, I don't have that much of a... I don't have that much of a connection to Crash, but apparently... Well, I, I say that. It's my last Crash game that I was really attached to was Twin Sanity. I played Crash of the Titans, and I think that was the very last Crash game I played. I never played Crash 1 to for, for free. I played the GBA one, and Twin Sanity the most. And also Crash Team Racing. Or Tag Team Racing. Give me the updates, lady. Yeah, I thought Returnal was going to get a showcase. This is the... This is the game uh, made by House Marquis, who made Resogun. Which is the only game of theirs I've actually played. Uh, I think they also made Alien Nation. Resu Gun's really good, by the way. That was the best PlayStation 4 launch game. I don't even think it's. I don't even think it's a controversial thing to say that. I'd rather play Resogun than play Killzone Shadowfall once I got my PlayStation 4, uh, 4 when it first came out. This is the other part that's super interesting as well. Because it's a roguelike, but it's also got some psychological horror elements. <laughs> just in your playthroughs, which is kind of interesting. Old boy? <laughs> No, this is not old boy. I just, I just saw that hallway and I went, uh, old boy? See? Okay. Alright, you have my attention. Dude, dude, this hallway is such a, is such an old boy reference. have an elevator at the end and just have him bring in out a knife as he goes into a car park. That's actually super cool. I'm reminded of Daredevil in the raid. I'm getting Daredevil vibes. Sifu! That was the debut of Sifu, coming to the PS5 console later this year. Okay. Now let's get an update on Solar Ash, an epic new PS5 adventure from Heart Machine. Yep, yeah, you know what? Call me intrigued in that one. That one looked actually super cool. Also, this is the game made by Hyperlight Drifter Team. Yeah, Hyperlight Drifter. I was correct. Alex Preston, creative director of Heart Machine. You might know us as the team behind Hyperlight Drifter. Today, <laughs> well, there you go. You nice simple trailer too for that last day. Oh, absolutely. They showed exactly what it needed to show. Fluid looking movie. animations, visceral like combat. It just showed the gameplay, you know. 
didn't have a HUD, so it's not entirely, like, it's not entirely clear how you control it, but the, the animations and stuff look really cool. Also, Void Runner is such a sick plan. name. <laughs> my my current question right now is I'm wondering if it's Solar Ash's Heart Machine's vision of the adventure platformer, the giant spaces, the feel of movement, I'm thinking it's the flow of combat, Okay, yeah, no, this is going to be open world or like open planet or whatever scale it's going to be. Yeah, like this is going to be a big open levels that you're going to explore. Okay. And more That was my question. I was wondering if this was like level based or if this was like a big open world and just just based on what I'm seeing, on it seems team. We're excited to bring Solar Ash to PS5 and PS4 later this year. It definitely seems like it's going for, like, open levels, which, for the speed and movement, makes a lot of sense. If you're a fan of scary games, this next one is for you. That creature looks like the one that from uh, Journey. It kind of does, when actually. I first found you, you were nothing. Is this was snap? Small, pathetic. Are you ready? There's five nights at yeah, okay it is. Um right, going back to Sifu. <laughs> Holy shit, actual human models. This is a lot more involved. You know what? I'll give the I'll give this game this. This is a actual actual video game. This is actually like a pretty involved video game now. I'm sure there'll be people that get a kick out of this. I've never had an interest in Five Nights at Freddy's. Also, I actually want to give credit to Oddworld Soulstorm. They've shown this game off a few times. I've never been invested in the Oddworld series, and I'm kind of sad about that because I know these games are really cool. Accidental hero turned unlikely leader of an emerging revolution. And it's As super fucked up. I'm only familiar with the first game. I'd recommend playing new uh, Oddworld New and Tasty then if you haven't, because if you have uh, access to it, I'm not sure if it, I think it's only on PlayStation 4. I still think it's only on PlayStation 4. I could be wrong about that. But um, it's a super good remake from what I understand. Like, a lot of people are really happy with it. Here we've built lots of opportunities for you to Never played Stranger's Wrath or to I played the Vita version because it was free with PlayStation Plus. It won't be easy. If being hunted and that's the an most I ever played an Oddworld game. Oh, so this game! Hang on, let me... To catch up with just go down? No, go to 1080p. Kina Bridge of Spirits, a I want maximum quality, damn it. Saw on the June PS5 showcase. It looks great, but I have literally no interest in these kinds of games. Yeah, that's kind of the big problem. It's like, I look at it, I know it's quality. I know it's really good, I'm just not interested, you know? Also, this thing is fucking adorable! We've got actual combat- also, that looks super cool. Throw your minions at them! Die for me, my slaves! If I could- if I could summon forest spirits to just chuck it at my enemies, I totally would. Must help. Like, the most I'm looking forward to with this game is just seeing, like, the creature designs and just, like, the world design, because it looks so good. Like, the environmental team on this game were... You must move on. We're not pulling any stops. Some of the people look a little bit weird. I think Kana looks great. I think some of the children look a little bit weird. That thing looks weird in a great way. Before we leave, how about a huge update for one of 2020's most celebrated games? Hmm? Yeah, here we go. Fucking called it. I, I sure hope somebody picks up that phone because I fucking called it. <laughs> now it's my turn. I got to play Final Fantasy VII Remake at a good frame rate. <laughs> a touching reunion. Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. So my question is... Oh, this is new. I was- I was literally about- <gasps> Yuffie! My name is Yuffie, 
Volunteering Holy shit! Elite Special Forces operative for the new Wu Tai government will prove to our common enemy that Wu Tai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, we got Yuffie, what the fuck are you doing in Midgar? You don't show up until like a few hours later. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. Where's Clown? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Wait, well, wait, 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 I got questions. Wait, what? They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? No, better not. After what they've done, you gotta assume- Yuffie, sure take off the Moogle! I wanna see little... what you look like! <laughs> Stop! <sighs> we gotta help. I mean, the Moogle is adorable, you're playing as Yuffie. There's gonna be extra Yuffie missions. <laughs> She was in Midgar the entire time, and you get to actually play as her? Oh, this is like... This is part two. Not this specifically, but this is like a taste. This is a taste of what part two is. Oh, that looks like a fucking near enemy. There she is! Oh my god, she looks great. They didn't change so much about her. She looks great. She looks amazing. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, they do. But I'm not your sister. There you are. Who are these jerks? No clue. It just appeared. Integrate? Now, let the hunt begin. Oh my god, who the fuck is that dude? <laughs> who is this? Who is that Genesis? Genesis related you motherfucker. <laughs> came from the vats that Genesis came from. You feel it's great. It's gonna. It's gonna look even more pretty? Holy shit! Yep, they're going all in. Doing updating the lighting, updating the texture work, making it run at 60 FPS. Is it that Dirge of Cerberus character? Te textures! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Fog of better fog effects, alpha effects. Sorry, it's just the textures really got to me. There's the improved lighting. <laughs> it's Vice? Is that dude from Dirge of Cerberus, really? Nah. I don't... Nah. I would laugh if they teased Zack. They already did. Um, <laughs> you got teased. At anyway, I'm not gonna go into that. I'm not gonna go into that just in case. Quality of life! Performance optimization mode. Normal classic difficulty. Wait, hang on. I need to... I need to look at what that said. I need to look at what that classic difficulty said. Also, yeah, fast loading. Wow. Wow, big load. Sorry, I just... I moved my mouse. There is photo mode. Of course there is. That's just the standard to make your games look super pretty. Oh, there are some people on Twitter that are gonna have a field day with this. There are some people on Twitter that are gonna have a field day with that photo mode. You see that? This was way more than I was expecting. I was not expecting Yuffie to just be here. <laughs> you know? If you own a copy of Play. Well, there you go. I just get it for free. Cool! <laughs> I just... 
That was the reveal of Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade, coming to the PS5 console later this year. That's it, that state of play was 100% worth it now. As excited as we are I'm not gonna lie, yeah, you know what, yeah, Final Fantasy, I'm not gonna lie, Final Fantasy, um... 7 remake with new content with Yuffie. I was not expecting Yuffie. I was expecting maybe new content. I was not expecting Yuffie. I just safely say that. Um, yeah, that made the whole thing, obviously. So, press circle to remember Zack and let give you the strength to fight on. Um, not quite, but yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that.